Hi, my name is Amy, and I'm a medical laboratory scientist. And I work with all this equipment. Medical laboratory science is a broad field, combining many different specialties into one laboratory, such as chemistry. We perform toxicology, endocrinology, examine your kidney functions, and probably most familiar to you, we test for diabetes. It may sound simple, but... This is the chemical reaction that's happening every time we do a glucose test. Science! This is the coagulation department, where amongst many other things, we measure blood thinning medication. If we don't use activated partial thromboplastin time with prothrombin time in an international normalized ratio, our patients could bleed out. We don't want that. You want blood to be in. Scientifically, when your blood clots, it looks like this. Pretty simple. <laughs> what are you if you study urine? You're an analyst. But seriously, we study urine right here. We check kidney functions, we look for infections here, and we also perform pregnancy tests. It's a boy! Just kidding, you can't tell from this, but they are pregnant. This is hematology. It's where we identify blood disorders like leukemia. This is our instrument we use to count your red and white blood cells. It has a tiny little electrical impulse that measures the amount and size of cells that pass through it. This is microscopic stuff! Your red blood cells are only about seven microns across. That's half the width of a human hair! This is blood bank. It's where we test patients' blood to make sure it matches before we transfuse it. It's not an easy test either. If it's not perfect, the patient will have a myocardial infarction. That's a heart attack for those of you that don't speak Latin or Greek. Man, this stuff is cool. It's cold, but it's cool too. I hope that in some way I've shown you how fun and interesting the medical laboratory science profession can be. And that pursuing and achieving a career for women in science does not have to be intimidating. Because women can do anything. Don't we have a fan for the hair?